Today we're back with this mohawk steak. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the knife and just gently just go through it. Just so I can make sure all the crevices and stuff is actually going to get through. Now it did take a vinegar and salt bath. And that was for th uh, 25 minutes. So we are going to put this on the grill. Because this is made to actually grill. Not put in the oven. This is going to be scrumptious. Alright. So. Um, so I'm going to take my marinara that I have. Now this is a marinara that I had um, made. This is basically a couple different products in here. I put red wine, uh, vinegar, a little bit of Italian dressing, and a little bit of orange juice in this mixture right here. You know I like to come up with my own marinara's. gonna make sure everything gets nice and juicy everything is gonna soak through I'm just gonna flip it to the next side so it can get all the juices all the marinara down in there I'm actually gonna poke another couple holes so I'm gonna make sure that all the juices get through it so it can be nice and good and scrumptious Alrighty. Then we're just gonna flip it back over. And I got two of these, so I'm gonna save half of that. Now we're gonna put in, now this is my family secret moisturizing seasoning, and I also mixed it with cayenne pepper. And then this is a mixture. This is complete adobo peppers and um, garlic. Uh, garlic powder. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna make sure it get worked in. Make sure it's in all the cracks. Make sure it's not missing nothing. We even gonna make sure that, make sure that bone is seasoned. My uncle Pete, he used to love to eat the gristle on chicken bones. You used to tear that girl so up like it was no tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the remainder. So we're just going to put some more over here on this side. Make sure that we get in all the pieces here. Alright, so we use that up. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to season it with all these seasons in here. Make sure we're good to go. Make sure we're not missing nothing. Right. Now while it's got all this on the side, we'll make sure we turn it over. We get the rest of it. Yes. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put a little bit of red wine on it. And this is red cooking wine that we're using. that gets in there to moisturize that bone after we do that we're gonna put some veggies in here get that going nice and good and I'm gonna flip it to the other side put a little bit more veggies on now I'm kind of being stingy with the veggies because I do have another hey, one hey Facebook and YouTube friends cook. and families so and we're season. almost midway through the video this uh tomahawk steak so was actually seasoned overnight. two days prior Make to sure the super bowl knowing that i was going to do a super bowl barbecue thanks for watching it. and if no one told you they so love you just remember god it. love you each and every day and thank we'll you video hey facebook friends and family and thank you for tuning in to rena may's kitchen so it's super bowl sunday Finish putting 
some of the juices on here. This is just a regular beef steak that we put in on. And then this is a London broil steak that we're putting on as well. I'm gonna put a couple pieces of chicken on here. Wow. Couple pieces of chicken on here. See what we can fit and where we can fit it. Okay, we're doing good with space. One thing my mama taught me, I could put some, I could, I could put some stuff on it out. I could make some room now. But it's just super going. So who y'all want to win, y'all? All right, y'all. We got them all on there. Juice on them. Keep everything going. Today's inspirational quote is, Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Amen. His faithful love endures Thank forever. Palms 11, 8 and 1. Then we're just going to go ahead and do an overhead. Look how that's looking. Yes. I wish I could smell it. Just smell it. All right, you guys. We'll be back. Guys, this is how it's looking. It's sauce time, baby. Super Bowl 2023, baby. Definitely going to put some sauce on that. Yes, we is. Yes, we is. Yes, we is. Now, where could you get some barbecue looking like this? This that southern look, baby, that southern look when we up in New York. Uh -huh. Come to Rena Mae's Kitchen. That's where you got to come. Yes. I'm going to be southern plates and do dinner as soon as the summer hit. So, you watch us there. Right. This is sport. And it's just cutting through just like butter. Just like butter. Just like butter. And we gotta put no force to it. <laughs> Just like butter. Yes. Just like butter. This is a London boil. This is a beef London boil steak. I don't like for my steak and stuff to be raw, medium, well, all that. I don't like that. I like it to be nice and juicy, but done. Where I don't see no pink and no blood. All right. We got this down. Look at that. Look at the video. Now, if you cook, if I cook this right, it's all right, you guys, so it's just cutting right on through. Yes. Just how I needed it to. Yes. You see that? See that? Okay. All right. That's just the way it needs to be. Yes. Cutting all the way back to the bone. This, this concludes today's show. Thank you all for watching and your support. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if nobody told you they love you today, just remember God loves you each and every day.